This is your Rostral Stack. This is your microcontroller that will be controlling to the motors and fetching the data from the sensors. The micro ROS will be connecting these two things. It will connect your microcontroller to the ROS tool. So these are different microcontrollers that micro ROS supports. Uh, we are going to use the ESP32. This one. So let's see how we can use it. There's not any mention of ESP32. Can we use it? The answer is yes. Let's say this for the RTOS. Here we can see the bare metal sport uh, with the Arduino. Here it is, Micro Ross Arduino repo. This is our main concern. Sported boards and uh, here it is, the ESP32 dev board. And this is exactly ESP32 dev board. You can either open your Ubuntu softwares and from here you can install and uh, there is another easy method to install Arduino what I will do open the terminal nap install Arduino okay the Arduino is installed here it is we will need to set up ESP32 board on Arduino we need to some add some configuration related to the ESP32 From here, we need to go to the preferences and we need to add a line in here. We need to add additional board manager's URL. So we will just copy this and go to these preferences. And one more thing, you need to choose the dark thing. And here, additional board manager URL, I will just paste. Okay. Tools. Boards. Board manager. And then we have to search ESP32. And there are several variants available. We will open this and it says Arduino core for ESP variant 2.02. So it works best with this. And uh, I have tested it. It works with the latest version as well. But for the sake of uh, not getting into the trouble, we will use this version. Okay, now we will install. So the installation is complete. I will just close. So let's give it a try. We are going to connect ESP32. We will select ESP32 dev module. Now we have to add a micro ROS Arduino library. For that, we will come up here and this is the library that we are going to use. Make sure that you have the Foxy branch selected here and then download it. So the library is downloaded and it will be in the downloads here to include this library I will go to the sketch include library and add a zip library download and this is the library I will click OK and this library is included examples go to the included library this is here micro ROS Arduino and micro ROS publisher I'll click here and try to build it so now the micro ROS first code that is the publisher it is compiled successfully so now we will try to upload on the ESP32 what we will do we will plug in the ESP32 and now we will upload it says the error message. So the port is not selected. Let's select the port. The DUI dev that is available. Upload successful. 
Congratulations, you have your first micro ROS code inside your ES32. Is there any topic created? No, we need micro ROS agent. So the micro ROS agent connects ESP32 with your ROS2 stack. So it acts as a bridge that will show all the topics that are inside the ESP32 and allow the communication. So now let's install micro ROS agent. You see here, we will select Foxy, go to your workspace, SRC, and copy here the link, get clone link minus P Foxy. This is downloaded, and now go one step back. Could not find the package provided by the micro ROS message, configured by the micro ROS message. So we have to install all the dependencies. For that, we use a command. This command will be issued to install all the dependencies that the micro ROS agent need. Okay, now I'll try to build again. Successfully built. So now we have the MicroRoth agent in our workspace as well. Here it is the command. ROS to run MicroRoth agent, MicroRoth agent, then the UDB, then the port. Enable button, nothing happening, board button, nothing happening. So mostly the ESP32 does not connect via UDP. Uh, protocol. So we will try to connect it via serial and for that we will just need to change uh, the command a little bit. And then the port on which our USB is connected. How did I know that? Because in here we have selected the dev duty by USB 0. We have to mention it here. And now press the enable button. And there we go. We have pressed the enable button and it has connected with the ESP32. So you have made the connection. Congratulations. This is an achievement to celebrate. And there we go. We are seeing the data from ESP32. The integer is published by the ESP32 node. It is continuously increasing. There is a norm. If we disconnect the ESP32, the data transfer is cut off. And uh, you will also see this here. Waiting for the connection.